Uh. Welcome to the channel, Jesse James Fitness here. Hope you're having a great day. Today's topic is gonna be a little bit more nonchalant, even though it might not seem nonchalant by that intro, but it is. We're just gonna talk about the best workout splits for you guys, and I'm gonna give you two options that I think are the absolute best ones. Everyone's gonna tell you that there's no such thing as a best split, but in my opinion, there are a few that are really good, so I wanna share them with you. So let's dive into this thing and get big. Okay, for the first workout split, I'm going to tell you about the one that I personally use and I've only used my whole entire life. I've tried others, but I really don't like them. This is my favorite one by far, and it has given me great results. I put on 35 pounds in three and a half, four years. So that's about almost 10 pounds a year, so that's insane. So it works, I'm telling you. So take some notes and listen up. Yeah. So we got the push-pull leg program. That is a great one. I think it's one of the best because you're gonna do it twice a week. Wow. You're gonna do it twice a week and you're gonna go push-pull legs, off, push-pull legs, repeat, or you can go push-pull leg, push-pull leg, off. It's up to you, but it's very high frequency and you get a lot of volume in for the week and that is the key to growing muscles. You wanna make sure that as soon as your muscle's repaired, it's already getting built again. And that's one of the main factors and attributes to my gains because I've always hit every muscle twice a week. Also, another great thing about this is that you can kind of alter it if you have sports or anything. You can change when your leg routine is or when your back routine is, depending on what exercise and things you have going on in your life outside of the gym. So I really like that because when I have lacrosse, I change legs earlier in the week. That way I don't have legs the day before or the day of lacrosse. It kind of just works out really well when you get used to it and you schedule out your week after your off day. So try it out, it's great. One of the main things is that you can also do a push-pull shoulder leg. And I do this one personally over the push-pull leg just because it's a little bit of an alteration, but it is great. I like doing shoulders on leg day just because I already get so much work on the other days that it adds extra volume in to my shoulders because when you're doing bench press and you're doing pull-ups, you actually are using your front and rear delt. That way when you do an extra shoulder day, you get more out of it and you're gonna get more growth. And that's what we're going for. Another great reason I like doing shoulders on leg day is that way it warms me up for legs. I kind of get in that mode of, all right, we're gonna grind it out, we're gonna start doing really well, and we're gonna actually have a great workout. So when I just go in and just do legs, my, if I squat first, I'm kind of dragging for a little bit, and then halfway through the workout, I feel really well, and then I just kind of get in the zone from there. But when I do shoulders, it helps me kind of eliminate that and just get really into it for legs. So if you utilize this program completely and do it really strictly, you will see so many results, I promise you, with all the amount of frequency. It's amazing for beginners because you're doing so much frequency and you don't have to do as much volume each day. Like you don't have to murder your chest once a week. For experts in intermediates, it's actually amazing too because then you can up the volume, kill your chest twice a week. Instead of actually just doing once a week, it's gonna hold back your gains and you're gonna see less results. So doing it twice a week really does help, I promise you that. I've seen most of my strength gains when I hit twice a week consistently, just because there's so much frequency, your body's never gonna be not used to holding so much weight, so it is really good for your CNS. But of course, you do need your off days, that way your CNS gets recovered and you can do the same weights next week. So moving on to the second program that I truly recommend, that is gonna be your push, which is chest and tries, pull, back buys, shoulders, and then legs alone. And then you take an off day. I like this one a lot. This is the only other workout routine that I've ever tried and really liked. I've tried other ones, but they just aren't that good. So if you try this one out, I think you're really gonna like it. There's just a little bit less frequency than the push-pull leg program. So you are gonna hit your muscles every three days instead of every two. So that's still very good compared to hitting them once a week or every five or six days. That way you continually make muscle gains. Also, if you have very weak shoulders or you don't have the best shoulders this is great because you're gonna have a shoulder day alone that you can really just demolish them every few days and shoulders do recover very fast because it is a very small muscle so if you do that and you do it properly you will get some great delts another reason I really like this program of the four day split is that the shoulder day is not as extensive on your CNS and you're not putting out so much energy that you feel dead after your cycle of the four days so it's nice to have a less intensity day right before your leg day that way you really kill legs
legs. Now a program that I now a program that I see a lot of people doing is called the bro split. It's the chest, back, arms, shoulders, and legs. I mean, geez, you're never hitting anything twice a week. How can you possibly make gains? Yes, it will work, but I don't recommend it because you're not optimizing your time in the gym. You're gonna go demolish chest and then you're not gonna hit it for another six days, which is just kind of, it doesn't seem optimal to me unless you're trying to just slowly put on muscle and not put on that much, or you're just trying to stay in shape. If you're just doing that, if you're just doing that and the program is working for you, by all means, don't listen to what I'm saying and keep doing you. But if you're trying this out and it's not really working for you, try out my push-pull leg or push-pull shoulder leg program. I think it's really gonna help, so definitely look into it. Make sure you guys are trying out these programs for at least a month. That way you really see what works and what doesn't work. It's good to try, check, and revise and go off what worked and what didn't work because then you're gonna get better over time and realize what's good for you. Everyone is different. Everyone reacts different to different training. Someone might get so many good results from, from the five-day bro split. Someone might get amazing results from the five day bro split but someone like me won't really get that many results because I need a lot of frequency so you gotta try them out don't hate on anything until you try it I hope this video covered a lot I hope you guys enjoyed this video so make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button subscribe for more content follow me on Instagram at Jesse James Fitness and if you're looking for a free workout plan I have that three day on one day off or six day on one day off program for free just DM me on Instagram at Jesse James Fitness see you later